Okay, so now I'm going to try a couple centripetal acceleration problems, except this time I'm going to use a banked curve. Alright, so if we're looking at this, we're going to draw a hill, and it's bobsledding. So this hill, bobsledding is done in the cold, you want to find theta. So your bobsled's sitting on this hill. You know that the force is acting on this bobsled. You've got its weight pulling down, you've got normal force, and it's accelerating this way around a curve towards the center of a curve. So let's set up a set of axes that we can use with this. And in this case, let's put our y-axis here and our x I'm going to call this the center hat axis. So let's do the y side first. Always start with Newton's second law. So sum of forces, y direction equals m-a-y. We know you're not accelerating the y direction. So what we get, you get and again this is angle theta here, you'll get in, this is the side adjacent to that angle, so you'll get in cosine theta minus mg equals zero. Or you'll get in equals mg over cosine theta. This is going to be our result from here. So now let's work in the other direction. So if we're working in the other direction, Let's set this up in blue. You get sum of forces towards the center equals ma towards the center. We know from before, and again, always write down the variables, we know from before the force pulling you towards the center is just in sine theta equals mv squared over r. So plugging in for n, your next row, you're going to get mg over cosine theta sine theta equals mv squared over r. These m's cancel out, and we're going to use that sine over cosine is tangent theta. So you get g times tangent theta equals v squared over r. So if we give ourselves a little more room here, you'll get tangent to the minus 1 v squared over gr equals theta. So theta is equal to inverse tangent. Our bobsled had a velocity of 5 meters per second, so 5 meters per second whole thing gets squared over 9.8 times the radius, which was 10 meters, 10 meters. And you get theta equals, that theta is going to be equal to 14.3 degrees. Okay, so then that's how that problem works. Again, makes use of the fact sine over cosine is tangent, and then use your y parts to solve for your x parts. So I'm going to leave this question up here a little bit. This is a doozy. I'd like you to try to work on it, and then just kind of get through. It'll be harder than anything I'm going to ask on the test, but I wanted you to get a shot at it. So, good luck. Please ask questions if you have them. And good luck, and I'll talk to you later.